and all the parents and the children who are online with us. This evening, uh, as Ushaji was telling, I will be talking on the subject positive thinking. What is positive actually? This word is, uh, everybody speaks from, you know, you speak from any motivational speaker all over the world. They only talk about motivational speaking. In my point of view, what is positive? Positive is not the name of the degree or a certificate that you can show to others that you are a positive person. Positivity is nothing but a mindset. That how do you take the situation in front of you? How do you deal with the circumstances in front of you? And how do you overcome it? So that says that it is your behavior. And it is your ability to present in your language. And it is your ability to present a body language which all speaks positive. So positive we talk today. And I will take up a small story of a girl. She is my favorite since 1996 because my life and her life is similar. This girl is from western world and she had a very peculiar problem in her young age when she was twice affected with pneumonia. And because of that pneumonia effect, she got a paralytic legs. And uh, her mother, a single parent, took her around the world to see that uh, she is, uh, you know, recovered from that paralytic thing and then lead a fair life. Being single mother, she was always worried. But here what happened till the age of, uh, you know, nine years, literally nothing could be done. And then came a time when a single mother thought that if I leave this child like this and depending only on doctors, and all the advisors who come around, my child will be left alone and uh, she will be having to fend herself. Uh, with this uh, paralytic leg, how do I, how do she manage herself? And she is actually in calipers. You all know what is calipers. It is a supporting iron uh, rods we fix it on from top to the bottom where ankle and the thigh is connected. So that is called calipers. So she was in calipers. One day morning, the mother and the daughter both were sitting opposite each other. And a very typical situation where mother's mind is working, thinking that if I die, what will happen to this girl? So I have to do something so that this girl becomes independent and lead her own life. So she goes suddenly, gets up from the sofa and goes inside and brings a cane. The cane which we use, teachers are famous to use olden days. Nowadays, teachers cannot use any canes. Because they cannot even show the cane. If they show the cane, they will be put behind bars. This is the situation today. But the best treatment was the cane treatment. So she brought the cane, kept the cane next to her in the sofa and asked her daughter to remove the calipers. Then the daughter said, What is that mom you are talking to me? How can I remove the calipers? If I remove the caliper, I will fall. I can't even get up from the sofa. She says, I don't care whether you get up, whether you walk, whether you stand, I don't care. But first you remove the caliber. Either you remove it, you listen to me, otherwise I am going to cane you today. And she takes the cane. Continuously the girl resists her, But mother gives two swaps to her, solid cane strokes. And the girl gets irritated and removes the caliber. And trying to stand, she falls. And that was the best ever fall. She could ever have in life because earlier she has fallen. She is known to be a handicapped child. Nobody cared for her. Every advisor said this girl has no life. And the day mother caned her ruthlessly with all the love for the child, the girl falls down and says, What the hell you are doing to me, mom? She says, I am the only one who thinks of you. Get up now. And she makes her get up. And from 9 to 13 years, she makes her learn walking. And can you believe she gets into a rhythmic walking? All medical science started telling it is a miracle, it may happen one in a trillion. As usual, they do not want to take the debit and credit, they have passed out to the God. And really, God has helped. And this girl slowly started running. And for your all information, children, her name is Rudolf Wilma. One of my favorite idols. And can you believe 
this paralytic child who was wearing a calipers went on to take three gold medals in Olympic 1996. That is the positivity. So this positivity from the story I am getting something else. This positivity, positivity is so different. What I am talking, everybody says you speak positive. I am not talking speak what. Let the adversity come. Let the obstacle come. Let the problem come. Then only the adversity will give us the opportunity to create positivity. Positivity is hidden in negativity. There is no separate thing called negativity or positivity. If you hear Lord Krishna saying in Bhagavad Gita, he very clearly says that when I created good, please take it for granted the bad is imbibed in that. Bad, bad is not separate. As the death is not separate from life, because death is there, then only the new germinations will take place. Many of you may not know, positively thinking people, please know that lacks of cell in our body every day dies. And we keep on still living. So death is not a death. A new cell has to come to our body and we have to go. I will take up the second story because I got few more minutes to speak of an Indian. A poor man he is one among the seven children we had in their family. And you know among the siblings he is the fifth in number. And a struggling life he has to sell newspapers to help his family. And not a newspaper which is called a new newspaper. Morning used to give newspaper as a distribution, a new newspaper of the day. And the evening collect the old newspaper and go to a kabadi shop and sell it and collect 3-4 rupees and give it to mother. That person was not being respected or cared. He was ridiculed every time in life. And he had passion for two things. One is the religion, the other is rockets. He was not cared and respected by anybody. He became one of the greatest scientists of India. His name is Abdul Kalam. This Abdul Kalam ji, whom I met many times when he was advisor of uh, scientific advisor to Prime Minister Atal ji, and uh, when he was also in the DRDL as a director at Hyderabad, I have never heard from him. A discussion on negativity. If somebody says this is a problem, you will say that means there is an opportunity. If somebody says coach problem, so he says there is an opportunity. Now jump in into it. Because there is a problem, there is an opportunity for all of us to do it. So my dear children, parents, do not ever think that whatever obstacles that come in your life, they have come to only destroy you. They have come to raise your caliber. To bring the hidden talent inside you and bring that hidden talent to such an extent that world will follow you tomorrow. I have one more small bit of a story. One student who was studying in a school in another western country, he was asked to coolly get out from the school. The teacher writes a letter, seals the cover and gives it to the student and says, this letter is meant for your mother, you please go and give it to your mother. He comes from home and gives the mother. The mother opens the letter and reads it. The boy wanted to know with curiosity what is inside the letter. She immediately says very nicely that the letter says my son is a genius. He is a genius and this school where he is studying is not a good school. He has to study in a better school to bring out his best. Oh, he feels very happy and goes for his playing and meanwhile 40 years passes after 40 years the mother dies and naturally when the parents or elder die in the home we go through the ceremonial rituals and all that so once that ritual was over after a week this boy was searching what mother has left here there and all so he found one trunk one old trunk he opens that box and finds this cover there he immediately recollects, this is the cover that I have given to my mother when I was uh, uh, coming from the school that day out. Oh, what is written in there? Curiosity, he opens the cover. In that it is written, your son is a useless, mentally retarded child. We have no place for this child in our school. Please keep him at home. He is not fit for education. And my dear 
children that person's name is thomas alpha edison who went on to become world's greatest scientist whom teachers rejected it so my question is here is mother as a parent they are also a teacher and teachers as a parent they are also parents the parent teacher combination exists in every human being you do not have any business to tell your child you are useless so positivity should start from each one of us telling everybody that we can do it we can do it and you can do it and my son my daughter you are more capable than anybody so my belief here it is very simple whatever obstacles comes in life deal with it with the affirmation that you can overcome it when you determine that then you remind get reminder from lord krishna in bhagavad gita vyavasa atmika buddhi he says single pointed determination that is what you require to convert every odd into an opportunity you should not ever think that the positivity is a choice positivity is not a choice it is it is not hidden in your achievements but actually it is hidden in your mindset it is in your mindset as you think so you are this is what last week i left i am reconnecting it and this way i am carrying forward it you should have a thought provoking thinking in you and parents do not compare your children with anybody if you compare there will be one more clerk or one more it employee somewhere but we do not want this to happen in our country because mars cannot decide the caliber of a child henry ford went to this great thomas edison and thomas edison described him that car cannot be made don't waste your time ford you come and join me but ford said okay thank you for your advice but he continued to do his research and ultimately he bought out a car so ford car has come out opposing another positive man who also spoke sometime negativity so positivity is a individual issue it it hides in a human being he takes a decision like our prime minister is taking decisions how to fight with covid how to deal with this country's issues so positivity is today everybody is learning from our prime minister right from the uh, american political president to the russian prime minister or anyone they all talk to him why because this man is positive so positivity is a mindset thank you very much i just wanted to tell you this small point and one last uh, stanza i will tell you of a poem mushkil nahi hai is duniya mein kuch bhi mushkil nahi hai is duniya mein kuch bhi tu zara koshish to kar khwahish hai badlenge haqeeqat mein khwahish hai badlenge haqeeqat mein tu zara koshish to kar bharat mata ki jai thank you very much